It's a brand new day. I'm so glad you're here. We are taking the journey on Survival Road. Today we're talking about how this vlog is getting redirected. So if you are a man or a woman, you're over 45 or 50, and you're thinking about your retirement in a rural community or just anywhere, then we're going to be talking about those questions pretty much from now on, you know, until I change my mind again. <laughs> You know how I am. Like a good little girl, I grew up following the rules, but I never really fit in. Then I lost all I had only to begin life again. So I ran away to the road, a tiny trailer in tow, and along the way discovered the truths I now know. So take a deep breath, grab a good cup of joe, cause this world it's a changin'. Inhale, here we go. So about a year ago, something new happened here on the cow farm. See that? That is a bale of hay. They weigh, they weigh about, these bales weigh I think between 40 and 50 pounds, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, that's when the problem started, when I was hauling bales of hay over the many months of winter last year, is my wrists went out, both sides, and so that was a problem that cascaded into something that's been going on for the last year and it's not getting any better. So you can see that's what's left. I've done most of the hay feeding for the year. I am so over <laughs> livestock. <sighs> That's the signal that they want more food. My life consists of the cat yelling at me, the cows yelling at me, the dog staring at me. He doesn't complain. All I do around here is feed everything. Everybody gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Don't you know that life is full of surprises? You better realize, better realize. For all of you who want to homestead and take care of livestock, it is really hard work. Think twice, think three times, think four times, think five times. It is a lot of work, 24-7, 365. Oh, there goes the wind. It's this amazingly rare phenomenon. There is no wind that never happens here. We've been trapped inside for the last three days because it's been stormy and snowy and miserable. <gasps> so happy to be outside. All right, so the second thing that's happened is uh, I have entered into that phase where I have to seriously consider how I am going to be a caregiver for my parents. And so while I don't have to be there full-time right now, I do desperately need to be able to get back and forth, which is not something that's easy to do, even if you are living in a mobile trailer. Uh, so, but that's really changed the trajectory of what the future will look like. But more importantly, I started looking up the statistics. Oh my God. If you are in the, the late stages of the baby boomer category, or even in your forties, Oh, oh my, my God. God, there is some serious, scary uh, factoids coming your way. So uh, I have just been taken aback by how, oh my God, it is. So that's really changed a lot of my thinking. I'm still going wild, but we're going to be expanding to talking about what the future really holds and who we can be in it, not just from a general perspective, but little old people because the future is full of single old women this was not my plan i'm sure it wasn't yours either <laughs> oh, oh my god it's still a little bit chilly but the sun is out I am so happy. So the third thing that I've been thinking about is related to the first thing and the second thing, which is 
I hurt myself. It's been a year. I have not been able to fix myself. Normally I can. And the second thing is that my future is alone, old, and having to take care of myself. What do those two things have in common? I better be able to take care of myself. And it really sort of hit me in terms of this future is going to be very different than I, I don't think I thought about it, but what I do know is that it's absolutely essential that I be as physically independent, mobile, and self-reliant or, or ability to take independent and that I can, the wind is back. If I don't, things might be really bad. I've worked in nursing homes. You do not want to have to go to a nursing home. And that's even assuming there'll be people to staff the nursing homes. I don't want to be in a nursing home. So in terms of what I'm really shifting and what I was thinking, how can I make a living? How can I travel back and forth to uh, through the Southwest and put all these pieces together? One of the things that I feel strongly about which you know also is small towns and so really the focus of this vlog is going to be asking just a couple of questions based on what my story is and so this is for you too so when you think about your life how do you plan on living it how do you plan on retiring and and you know I hadn't really thought about that because I'm not quite there yet but so my question for myself which I'm asking for you too is twofold one is what does it even mean to be over 50 anymore because I don't like thinking of myself as an old lady, but technically I'm an old lady. That doesn't really work for me. <laughs> so I'm really interested in redefining what these next two, which I'm calling Act 3 and Act 4, really are 50 to 75, 75 to whenever. I think we need to start talking about that in a whole new way, but we'll talk about that another day. The second thing that I'm really interested in is what will the future look like and who do I need to be to be in that future? And that's my question to you. So we're going to be talking about things about what does it mean to even age and what are the potentials? What, how independent or how, how healthy can I be as I get older? Because I'm starting to see the signs. I am not excited about them, but they are there. Do you have problems? So the takeaway for me, which I hope you will walk this path with me, is I really want to explore some of these ideas in terms of keeping myself healthy, how I can become you know, lighter, leaner, stronger, faster in a whole new way. I've got all this really interesting stuff I've been learning about lately. And two, what does it even mean to be old? And you know, what's really interesting is there's not even a big YouTube demographic for that. There, it's women over 55, I guess. So yeehaw for you if you're here with me. Is the fastest growing market on YouTube, but we are not the biggest market on YouTube. And I do not want to talk about makeup or hairstyle or hiding my wrinkles. They are there. Life goes on. <laughs> I don't think that's the purpose of the second half of our life, but again, we will do that another time. So I'm out here. I'm very excited. The sun is out. We get to do a little bit of exercising. I'm super jazzed about that. I don't know what you're doing today, but that's what I'm doing today here on Survival Road. And with that, we'll see you next time. I'm just flying by. Yeah, I'm just flying by. It is awesome outside.